Hello children, today we are doing future tense and I will explain you two types of future tense that is simple future tense and future continuous tense. So let's begin with the help of an example. Example is Rani will go to school. So this example is denoting an action which will happen in future. So simple future tense denotes an action that will take place in the time to come or in future. Now, I will explain the structure with the help of another example. Example is, Ravi will throw a ball. Here, Ravi is the subject. We use will or shall with future tense. We use the base form of the verb that is V1 plus object. So, the structure is subject plus will or shall, plus V1, plus object. Uh, in my previous videos, I have already explained the three forms of the verbs, that is the base form, past and past participle. So, whenever we are doing simple future tense, we use the base form of the verb with will or shall. Let's see few more examples. I will play football. We will play football. You will play football, he will play football, they will play football. So all these actions will take place in future. So in the structure you can see we have used will plus the base form of the word or the root verb. Now let's move to future continuous tense. We will see this again with the help of an example. Rani will be going to school. Again, continuous. Whenever you see continuous, we add ing. This you have to remember. Now, when it is future, we use will be. Rani will be going to school. So, future continuous tense denotes an action that will be in progress at a given point of time in the future. We can see this in simple words like that will be continuing in future. Something that will be continuing in future. So future continuous tense denotes an action that will be in progress at a given point of time in the future. See this example. Ravi will be throwing a ball. So our structure will be subject plus will be or shall be plus ing form of the verb plus object. How do we form ing form of the verb? We take the base word that is throw here and we add ing to it. So it becomes throwing. Ravi will be throwing a ball. So will be is very important. You have to add will be plus ing form of the verb to make future continuous tense. Let's see few more examples. I will be playing football. We will be playing football. You will be playing football. He will be playing football. They will be playing football. So children, I hope simple future tense and future continuous tense is clear to you. Just remember these structures and you will understand everything. Thank you.